how has your understanding changed over or evolved over the last several decades? And if any appreciation for herbs really was a starting point, like, oh, I just really like being out in nature with plants or, oh, I'm so fascinated by, you know, the chemistry of the biochemistry of the plant or like, what was the foot in the door for you? And, you know, how was that appreciation and understanding of herbs evolved over over time? Well, that, that's a great question. And I, I think there's a lot of, lot of pieces to that. Just studying with other herbalists, um, attending conferences is always so stimulating. Of course, the lectures are enjoyable and you get little clinical pearls from all the other herbalists or, you know, presenters or naturopathic physicians who might also be speaking at the conferences that I speak at. But I think some great learning is always to be had around the lunch table and the dinner table or the evening conversations where you talk more about your challenging cases or what um, people have grown in their own backyards and have you ever tried this as a medicine and just those informal chats. I've certainly been inspired by my herbal colleagues. So I think just attending conferences being a teacher, it's somewhat privileged that one, I get to be paid somewhat to study what I love and then be able to share with people um, what, I've, what I've learned or the research that I've dug into just to prepare some kind of presentation for a conference. But then I go to a lot of conferences. Mm -hmm. um, and then going to a lot of conferences gives you the opportunity to meet other herbalists from all over the country and sit in on all kinds of different lectures. That's um, a wonderful learning opportunity. So certainly that's contributed to my just maturation of my knowledge is just from my colleagues and their experience and um, sharing with one another. And then of course, your patients themselves are some of our best teachers. Yeah. Um, just those cases that you don't know what to do and it forces you to open your books or go online or pick up the phone and, and just really trying to help people um, in earnest uh, really helps mature your understanding of plants. Maybe everything isn't a textbook presentation of um, allergies or cold sores or hepatitis, to keep going back to that example again. It's just an individual that has a certain unique presentation that it doesn't fit the way things are described in the textbooks necessarily, or even that research can, can give you. You can't Google that, or you can't really look that up on PubMed, a single patient with their unique or somewhat quirky symptoms. Um, so sometimes our patients teach us, 